Hello and welcome to another three string song lesson. So changing style a little bit here, going for a bit of early 80s hard rock, so Ozzy Osbourne, Crazy Train. Now great song this one, uh, I must admit like sort of hard rock metal isn't my favourite style, like I, I like some of the tracks but I think this one's really good and it actually works quite well on three strings as well. Uh, so we are in EBE tuning which is low E and then middle B and then I E and this actually allows us to play in the same key as the original song it's not actually in the key of E but um, it actually works quite nicely in, in this um, tuning and uh, it's it's a little bit tricky you probably wouldn't try this if you're a beginner but if you've been playing for a bit then uh, give it a go uh, great fun once you can play it and uh, if you want to be able to play the full song from start to finish, you can download a completely free song chart from the website. So um, there's a link above or in the text description below. But let's just get straight on with learning the song. So the main riff is uh, using a natural minor scale. And a uh, quick recap of what a natural minor scale would look like. So uh, in the key of E, first of all, is open E, fret 2, fret 3, fret 5, open B, fret 1, fret 3, fret 5, there's your octave. So it's a 7 note scale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus the octave, okay. So uh, there's a natural minor demo video plus a an explanation video like looking at the uh, scale and ha how it sounds and how it sort of affects the sound of um, different songs. But straight onto this one, we're actually in a different key. You could class us as being in the key of F sharp minor for this one. It still actually works really well in this tuning. But to play... Now the main riff uses uh, exactly that scale, but in the key of F sharp minor. So uh, to to play an F sharp natural minor, you start from fret two, and then you go to fret four, fret five on the low string. You go to open B. Uh, you go to fret two, fret three, fret five, and then fret 2 to finish off. So it's fret 2, fret 4, fret 5 on the bass string, open B, fret 2, fret 3, fret 5. So it's not actually that difficult to play there, it works quite nicely. You see which fingers I'm using. I'm using my little finger quite a lot. I mean you, you, you can, there's an open, sorry. You can reach across with uh, different fingers if you want, but um, it's quite, it's quite nice to, you know, sort of get, give them all a bit of a workout. But the main riff, I'll, I'll go to the very, very intro in a minute, but straight into the main riff because it's based around that scale. Now, I'm using different fingers, even though I've got two notes at fret two because it's quite heavy. You know, hard rock stroke, heavy metal. So um, you, you actually want to separate the sound out a little bit. So instead of just barring across, I'll just give you a quick demo. <laughs> Now for certain things that would work really well, it's got a nice full rich sound, they're interacting with each other, whereas if I go like this, that works better for this song. I'll just uh, go, go back to clean here. So um, basically what I'm doing is I'm playing low fret 2 twice, and then middle string fret 2, back to low fret 2. I'm going to use my third finger on fret 3 of the middle string, back to low fret 2, back to middle fret 2. So I'm kind of bouncing off that, that note really. Play it twice and then middle 2, back to it, middle 3, back to it, middle 2, back to it. And rhythmically, they're all just half beat notes. 
so that was exactly one bar. One, two, three, four. Second bar, it's a two bar riff. It's gonna be open, open middle string, and then fret five on the bass string. I'm gonna use my little finger here, because I used it when I was playing the scale. Fret four on the bass string, back to fret five. So that's open middle string fret 5, fret 4, fret 5 on the bass string, back to the open middle string, and then 5, 4 on the bass, open E, open low string. So the second half of the riff is still all just half beat notes, nothing particularly interesting rhythmically, but open, 5, 4, 5, back to the open, 5, 4, open bass string so it's it's relatively quick uh, you could if you wanted sort of uh, maybe do up down up down up down with your picking but it's Kind of if you can play a little bit uh, i wouldn't necessarily tackle this if you're a complete beginner it's a bit challenging but if you've been playing for a while you know just just see how it works with the picking if you watch what i'm doing i might start with a couple of downs there and then up down up down up down something close to alternate in the second bar Maybe a tiny bit of palm muting if you want on some of the bass strings, but uh, it's quite it's quite like sort of harsh and raspy. The the original, you know, it's it's definitely kind of like early metal sort of sound, um, early eighties metal that is. Um, so you know, you can just leave it open and just get a big sort of fuzzy sound. That's absolutely fine. You do that three times, and then the fourth time it goes to. Now I, I played this particular shape. That's a D, and that's an E. So that's a full D major, that's fret two, that's fret three, that's fret five. And then just shift the whole thing up two frets. There's a fret four, fret five, seven, that's an E. If that feels a bit awkward, because it can do trying to bridge round with all of the, uh, across all the strings so you're not blocking them off with like flat fingers, you've got to bridge a bit. If that feels a bit awkward, you could do power chord versions, which still sounds ace. So we've got fret three, we've got fret five on the top string, fret three on the middle string, and then fret five on the bass. So there's a D power chord, and then just shift it up two strings. I mean, you could even just play a two string D power chord, you know, with, with the right amount of distortion, uh, it's still going to sound pretty, pretty thick, pretty big there. But, uh, you know, th there's a couple of tr quite tricky, re relative to these, uh, quite tricky chord shapes later on. So I'd, I'd probably try and go for the three fingered version if possible. We break into that halfway through the riff. So one bar of the riff, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So they, they last for two beats each. And then we're into the uh, main riff, the main sequence, which goes into the verse. Just before doing that, because we've covered the scale, let's go right back to the beginning. Here's the intro. Now it's just bass at the beginning, but this part comes in again just before the solo, sort of halfway through the song, and the guitar's playing it at this point, so we, we can play this at the beginning, it works fine. So we've got uh, F sharp, which is fret two. I'm playing all power chords here, so just barring at fret two is an F sharp power chord. If you want any kind of basic um, sort of uh, 
tutorial on bar technique then you can check out Sunshine You Love, uh, one of the earlier songs that goes into it in quite a lot of detail. But we go from F sharp, still that bar position up to 5, that's an A, then E's the open strings, all power chords, second time round, F sharp, let's go to a D, that's a D power chord, so that's that fret 3, fret 5 on those two E strings, and then E again, and do it all twice, but rhythmically it's got 1 and 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, bit of space in between, 2, 3, 4, D this time, 2, E, do it all again, and then you're into your he does a pick scrape into that, that main riff but uh, you do that twice and then you jump into the main riff after which we're into the verse well it starts off with the chord sequence which goes around a couple of times before the verse starts before the vocal before Ozzy kicks in with the vocals and so it's an A now instead of barring, this is an A power chord, instead of barring I'm going to use fingers 2, 3 and 4 at uh, fret 5. Because what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep this note here which is an A and I'm keeping it going while the chords change over the top or the sound of the chords change over the top. So using fingers 2, 3 and 4 at fret 5 across those three strings so that's an A, A power chord here I'm now getting rid of the pinky and adding in finger 1 on fret 4 still keeping these two on fret 5 so that's that's a kind of E chord look, that, that, that's an E that's how I played it on the demo but um, with an A in the bass so it's an E slash A E with A in the bass there's a D chord which has still got the A in the bass and then we actually finish on an A chord which is, um, so the D was 2, 3, 5 keep your little finger on 5 and just reach up to fret 2 on the middle string with open high E and chug in now again with a bit of palm muting, uh, with distortion, you, you get a nice uh, sort of co contrasting sound uh, between the sort of chugged, um, often bass bass notes in, in sort of hard rock metal. So palm muting, and then strum through the entire chord. Quite quick. This it wants to be alternate. Got four. Four chugs and a chord. One, two, three, four chords. You do the same thing again. One, two, three, four chords. Same thing again. One, two, three, four chords. One, two, three, four chords. Now, in some ways it's almost easier on the original, uh, it's definitely not an easy song to play on six strings, but uh, he's, he's got an open A string in like standard guitar tuning. We're having to maintain this fretted note, so it's a little bit awkward. So it's one, two, three, four, strum, one, two, three, four, strum, one, two, three, four, strum, one, two, three, four, strum. Now that is... Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It's going round in um, like a kind of displaced, slightly offbeat thing because we're completely four beats in a bar. If you listen to the, the original, the drums are just playing quite a sort of standard sounding rock beat. But this is sl gradually displacing. So the chord strum's a bit longer. These are shorter, so it's one, two, three, four chord, one, two, three, four chord, one, two, three, four chord, one, two, three, four chord. And after 
that A, you go. So uh, I'm I'm just playing uh, fret four on the, the two E strings, and I can let that, that ring out, and then back to A again. So let's try that from this angle. One two three four chord. 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 Bass fret four. Repeat. Okay. Now, Randy Rhodes is a pretty tidy player. Uh, he does some like face melting fills and solos in this song, which we're not going to, they're hard enough as it is on six strings. Uh, you know, very challenging technically speaking. So we're, we're not going to play those on, on three. Uh, it's just a little bit beyond the remit of this instrument, I think. Uh, so he does a great fill into the verse, and then we just carry on with this. So you go around that twice, and then you keep it going through the verse. And it's basically actually eight times round that. So that, that is a two bar um, riff. So they're eighth notes. And go around it again. So that's exactly two bars. Um, so, so it goes around eight times for the, the, the verse, uh, but the eighth time just so Ozzy can fit all the lyrics in. But uh, for the eighth time, it's actually a slightly different rhythm at the end. It sort of, it does, it gets rid of the, 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 the fast chugging and it goes uh, one and two and three. So we've got this A power chord again. We can hit uh, an E, but this time we can have a, a fret four, a low, what we call G sharp in the bass. That's a little triangle shape. And then we can hit the D and we can have a low um, D, F sharp in the bass. And then step up back to A. And so rhythmically this eighth time round the verse sounds like one and two E. F sharp. So you, you kind of anticipate in the uh, chord with the bass note. So then bass chord, bass chord, bass run up, which is fret two, fret four, back to the, the A. Let that ring out. So say from the seventh and eighth time round the first, so we've got the fast. Then end part. End part again, A into the E, into the D, back to A. Okay. So uh, I didn't actually do this pre-chorus and chorus part on the, 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 the demo, short demo video, but we can do it here. Um, so pre-chorus is just a, a section of a song which is building into the chorus. So it is relatively short, this pre-chorus. It's F sharp, bar the power chord, D, so that one, fret three, fret five, hopefully that's okay for you now. And we can go. So I'm going from the F sharp down to the open E. So it's F sharp, E, F sharp, and again, F sharp, E, but this time I'm going to the D and I'm letting it hang over. So that is one and two, three, four and. 
So that is one and two, three and four and. So so we hit the D just before the beat and it rings over. I'll uh, I'll do that just once from this angle. So it's one and two, three and four and one, two, three. It repeats again. Three and four and one, two. But there's a little a little run down into uh, what is now the chorus. So off that D chord, we're already on fret number three, and we can just step down from three, play three twice, and then two open, and then we're into the, the, the chorus, which goes to an A. Okay. And the chorus, when it goes to an A, um, goes A, A, So that's two A's, then four, two, down to open E, four, two, which rhythmically is one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. Now, more face melting. Uh, lead guitar here, so there's a, uh, a two bar fill, which again is a little bit beyond the three strings. So we're just going to play an F sharp here, what the, the bass player does, and we're going to go, we're going to borrow this chugging, this galloping rhythm from uh, Iron Maiden, sounds quite uh, trooper esque if you, if you heard that demo video. So here we're going um, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Down. Second bar, one, two, three, four. And then back to Ozzy. Uh, so second line of vocals in the chorus. A, same as before, F sharp. So just play it from this angle. So here's the chorus. A. This is the lead fill, then back to A, more vocals, 4, 2, E, and then here he's finished with the um, lyrics for, for the chorus and it's just a little instrumental play out at the end of the chorus which is F sharp, E, F sharp then two, four single notes, A, four, two, E, two, four. So we're kind of passing up and down through frets two and four a lot here. So I'll do that again. It's F sharp, open, two, four, A, four, two, E, two, four. F sharp, E, F sharp, and then two, four. Finish off with D and E, kind of in the same way as we did uh, just at the end of the, the, the intro riff, the F sharp natural minor riff. So let's just try all of that from this angle. So this is just the play out. Then two, four, A, four, two, E, two, four. There's a D, there's an E power chord. And you back into uh, the main sort of verse riff. Okay, so very, very quickly, Here's all of the pre-chorus into the chorus and that little instrumental play out. So we've got D, two, three, quite slow, F sharp, open, then F sharp, open, D, and then a little riff, A, 
this is now the chorus, bass, string. Here's the guitar fill for two bars of F. Final lyric line of the chorus. And then little instrumental play out. There's a D, there's an E. Okay, and then back into another verse, and then another pre chorus and a chorus. And then at this point, it goes to a bridge, which is exactly the same as what we did for the intro F sharp, A, E. F sharp, D, E, do it all again. And it's into the solo, which uh, if we're not doing the lead guitar fills, we're definitely not going to do the whole solo section. So uh, rhythm guitar, we're on rhythm guitar duty for this part. And um, all power chords, we're going to be playing F sharp, so fret two bar, open E, Five E power chord. This is E D again, so we're at frets three and five for that one, aren't we? And then it just steps down one fret, so that goes to a C sharp. Still a power chord. That's frets two and four there, from three and five to two and four. Then there's our kind of open B power chord. There's the open B in the middle, frets two on either string. And then let's go back to a normal full bar at fret 5, there's an A. Fret 4 is a G sharp. And then fret 2 is an F sharp. So I'll go around the rhythm in a minute, but it's F sharp. We just pick the E up briefly at the end of the first bar. And then we go to D, power chord. Pick the C sharp up briefly at the end of that bar and then we play B and then we go A, G sharp, F sharp and then start again. So rhythmically that solo section sounds like this. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, stay on F sharp, start again, stay on F sharp, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, and it goes round that uh, four times for the entire solo. We just repeat that four times because it's rock, because it's, you know, with, with distortion, it's definitely going to need distortion here. Um, all downstrokes, you know, you can try a bit of palm muting or you can try keeping it sort of open, but definitely all downstrokes and we're, we're changing on the beat. We're, we're not actually... Um, doing anything kind of offbeat or, or sort of syncopated as you call it so you just got to remember to change on beat four for the e and c sharp and then change on beats three and four for the a and the g sharp okay that's it so as you can see there's quite a few parts to it there it's um great fun to play but um take your time with it learn each one of them one you know one step at a time and um you know please download the free song chart because it will definitely help you once once um, you've, you've got all of these parts down and uh, also if you're interested there is a uh, pdf scale and chord download available it's like a sort of reference sheet for diff different boxes different shapes and patterns so dead useful for like all of these songs we've been looking at recently help support the channel and everyone's happy but basically that's it and have fun i will see you here again soon on code of guitar